Hello YouTubers, peace be with you and a very Merry Christmas. I just want to tell you about this project I did for a friend, Thomas. It's like an environment for growing plants. Funny how we get these projects done at Christmas. Anyway, here it is. <coughs> so, basically, here I am on the floor again. Um, so basically it's like this thing is just one of those cheap storage bins, you know. You buy them in the, in the uh, economy shops. It's just like a plastic uh, storage thing and I've, I've just used it as a housing, you know. So like I've got a couple of um, grow lights, you know, just simply mounted hot glue bit of it's all it's really basic you know kind of thrown together really but um <clears throat> but you know that does if it does the job you know so on the inside we've got um this is like the, the shelf of out of an old uh, fridge and underneath that there's like a seeding mat, it's like a heating mat for, for uh, germinating seeds. Then there's an old computer fan there for um, airflow. Oh, it's just switched off. And there's a temperature humidity sensor. There isn't anything in there at the moment, but you know, because I've got it on order, but it's like a snake light is going to go in there for heating and then the, the brains of the outfit is this it's a, an ice cream box and like you can see I've glued into the top a little um, uh, what do they call these kind of displays it's a dot matrix um, LED um, not LED is it? No, it's not LED, it's um, LCD, liquid crystal, that's it. Um, what is it? Tw like 20 by 2 columns, I think. Yeah, anyway, it, they're very popular with Arduino projects. And there's four little buttons glued in there. And so that's, that's that, just glued into the top lid. And then on the inside, there's an old um, phone charger, very old phone charger actually, you can tell by the size of it, can't you? A very old phone charger, which gives out, might not have been a phone charger, because it gives out 12 volts. Anyway, um, that goes through, you've got one of those... Um, Four four bank relay modules there, and uh, oh yeah, that's it. That that little thing there, I'd almost forgot. That little thing there is a um, buck converter, um, twelve volts to um, five volts for the for the uh, Arduino Nano board there, which is. Um, You can't see it very well, but like it, it's um, soldered onto a bit of breadboard to make, you know, to pin, um, connect the pinouts to the relays and that. Plus, also, I connected on there a real time clock so the thing can know the time, you know. And uh, so that's that. And uh, I'll just put the lid on. And then for programming, um, so we've got menu selection, I'll just pull back here a bit, so we, we've got fan start time, fan stop time, which you can, uh, like, if I increase the fan stop time, I think it's like, oh there it goes, just come on, um, then we've got, what else have we got? 
because oh well, humidity margin like you can set um, a margin in percentage for the humidity uh, when the fan kicks in from a humidity reading um, then we've got the light start time and the light stop time I'll show you that one as well bring it up to the current time there you go the lights have come on and uh, <coughs> what else we got um, light stop time light, light start and stop time fan start and stop time humidity margin um, oh then there's the set time set hours set minutes set day set month set year um, and then there's oh temperature so I just the heater as you've seen isn't in there but you probably find quiet you hear it click no I didn't hear that you might have done but anyway <coughs> the uh, the heater obviously the the te the um little probe here the temperature humidity probe um the heater is governed by that through the the sketch on the Arduino. So um <coughs> what else can I say about this really? Not much else. There's like a few resistors here, like about fifty um series parallel um I think they're like half watt resistors, you know, just to drop the voltage on the fan to reach it, you know, otherwise it'd be blowing full pelt and you don't need that, just need a little gentle, um, Thomas told me all this, you know, what the requirements were, because I don't know anything about keeping plants myself, you know, but, um, but yeah, that's the basic things, um, is there anything else? Like, if if anybody's interested in doing this project for themselves, um, you know, you could you could probably do a much better job than I did of like in construction. You, do you know what I mean? Um, this is a, like an old uh, estate agent sign that was floating around in the street, and I thought, oh, that that'll make a, a very nice sliding door for my. Uh, project you know it's a uh, it's mostly a glue and string type project you know um <coughs> yeah that's about it really i'll put a link to um the code the code that's running the running the whole show i'll put a link to that code on the and also um a I'll do a schematic of how the Arduino's wired up. How it's wiring. I'll do a wiring diagram. I'll put a, a link to all that. So if anybody wants to have a go because uh, these things like to to actually buy an environment to grow plants, I don't know what they call them, a grow box I don't know what the official name is, but I know they're very expensive, like five hundred pounds or or more, you know. But with a bit of a um, little bit of ingenuity and um, patience, and you know, putting your putting the effort in, you can you can make a thing like this yourself at a very very basic stuff, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a, a good Christmas. Boxing Day it is today. And uh, I hope you have a happy new year. God bless.